I was brought up in a very caring and loving family. We believed in God and went to church every Sunday. As I got older, we stopped going to church. I always felt like something was missing in my life, but not really sure what it was. I believed in God and figured that was good enough. Then about seven years ago, my life started to spiral out of control. I lost my job, my wife lost her job. I was unemployed for two years and my marriage was very rocky. I was not sure what was going to happen. My life hit a point where I thought for sure my marriage was going to end. And I had a hard time dealing with it. I was so upset with my life that I hid my feelings and my depression from everybody who cared about me. I even contemplated suicide. Shortly there after, a good friend, Jessica Hoffnagel, came over and started talking to my wife, C.N., about Jesus Christ, the Bible, and invited us to church. So we decided to go. My wife and I really liked going to Foundation Bible Church. Everyone was so warm and welcoming. It was just so overwhelming to see so many people so accepting of us without really knowing us. However, because of my work schedule, we were unable to continue going. Sorry, I lost my place. <laughs> It then in September of 2013, I got injured at work, which required surgery. In the months to follow, my wife told me we needed to go to church again. And because I was so depressed, I was like, nah, I don't feel like it. However, I kept thinking about, about it, and something changed in me about the time. I returned to work in July. We started going to church again. It was different than before. I told my wife we're going to church every Sunday. It was a few months later that I made the true commitment of my faith in God. But, there, but here's the thing. I'm not the type of person that will test the water. I'm the type of person that jumps right in head first. So that's what I did. I jumped in head first with my faith in Jesus and into a pool filled with the Holy Spirit. With everything that has gone on in my life, I just said to myself, you know what I need? Jesus Christ in my life. So I started going to Bible study, reading my Bible, praying at night, praying during the day. It just gave my life to Christ. I remember truly when I gave my life to Christ. It was around Thanksgiving of 2014. I knelt down on the floor beside my bed and prayed to God and told God I need you in my life. I give you my heart, my mind, my body, my soul. I want to be your follow follower of you, Lord. I ask God for forgiveness for my sins and confessed all my sins. Around the same time, I talked to Pastor Dan and told him that I would like to get baptized. Since then, I've been going to Bible study every, day, every Thursday, church on Sunday, and this summer I'm getting baptized. Thank you to my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, for your sacrifices on the cross for my sins. All Thank right. you. Foundation Bible Church, inconveniently located two blocks northwest of the Janesville Athletic Club.